I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Sorry I'm late. Okay. Again, sorry I'm late, but I actually have notes this time, okay? I got some news. Now, it's news you probably already know, which is why I'm late, but sometimes this news stuff just pops out of the woodwork, you know? You never know when Lego's just gonna drop a picture on their Instagram and just be like, boom, this is happening. Oh, I knew I was late. I got up here as quick as I could, okay? Whew, now I'm really tired. All right, so what are we here to talk about today, folks? We have some news and pictures of the Winnie the Pooh Lego set. Now, I don't know about any of you guys, but I watched a lot of Winnie the Pooh when I was a youngin', so I am super, super pumped for this set. So this Winnie the Pooh set makes perfect sense after recently them releasing the Sesame Street set. Now, that Sesame Street set was pretty cool, but I myself was not really into Sesame Street that much as a kid. And I got something in my eye. Ugh. All right, we're good. However, I absolutely loved Winnie the Pooh as a kid. Now, I went ahead and jotted down some notes on the information that I know about the set, which, to be honest, it's not really that exclusive information. You can find this out easy, but I'm just here to show you some pictures and let you know how I feel about this set. Right, so let's go ahead and talk about the age recommendation on this set. Oh, I can already see myself getting on a tangent already, but this is an 18-plus set, okay? However... This is definitely not a set that you have to be 18 to be able to have the skill to build. I feel like Lego gets a little bit misleading with these 18 plus recommendations on some of their sets. Like the Sesame Street set. The Sesame Street set is also 18 plus, but you definitely don't have to be 18 to build it. Even just the other day when I was in the Lego store, I overheard someone talking about the Sesame Street set, like thinking that, do they have to be 18 to buy that set? So to be honest, these age recommendations on these Lego sets anymore are really for just the target audience, I feel like. You don't have to be a certain age to buy any Lego set. You can be 10 years old and buy an 18 plus set. Heck, you can be 10 years old and probably build a lot of the 18 plus sets. But I feel like the only reason why they make it 18 plus is because there's 26 year olds like me that are like, oh my God, Winnie the Pooh. But anyways, I knew that was gonna send me on a tangent. The set number for this set is 21326 and it is going to have 1,265 pieces. However, I'm not sure how much this set is gonna cost. I mean, my first initial reaction is a hundred bucks, but I can almost guarantee it's gonna be more than that because it's a Disney product, so. 150 would probably be pushing it, so I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be about 130. And I'm pretty sure the Sesame Street set was also 130, so that would make a lot of sense. Oh, and by the way, I'm talking US dollars. I'm not smart enough to like figure out how much it costs other places, or I'm just too lazy to do the research. But we don't even know the price on this yet, so I'm thinking about 130 USD. Anyways, for the minifigures of this set, we do have five minifigures, including Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Tigger, Rabbit, and Piglet. So when I was looking at the pictures of this set this morning when Lego posted them on their Instagram, I was just blown away at how good the minifigures were as well as the build. That was one thing for me that I felt like people had complaints on for the Sesame Street set. I felt like they thought the minifigures could have been better. However, for this Winnie the Pooh set, I feel like the minifigures are spot on. I really, really like what Legos come up with. Obviously, there's going to be some figures in there that a lot of people wish they would have included. For me personally, I wish there was a Christopher Robin, obviously. But I feel like since they had that Christopher Robin movie, I feel like if they were to do a Christopher Robin Lego thing, it would be like separate from this and it would be more kind of something from the movie rather than the old tv show but that's just me speculating i feel like the five minifigures that they chose for this set are great however i absolutely wish they would have included rue the inclusion of rue to the set i feel like would have been amazing like i would have paid another ten dollars on top of the set just to get rue just having this tiny little baby kangaroo oh man it would have been the coolest uh so that's basically uh so that's pretty much everything I know about this Lego set. I took Lana to school, I came back home, was having breakfast with Jennifer, just randomly going through Instagram and boom, seen it. So I know a lot of other people have already gotten to this news, but I figured I'd make a quick little news video for you guys. And to be honest, I'm just super, super pumped about this set. So let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this set. Let me know if you're gonna be picking this one up and how much you think it's gonna be. Uh, and I guess while I'm still here,
Go ahead and get down in the comments and let me know which one of these sets you want me to review next. Found one of these the other day. Just couldn't help myself. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to hit you with that quick little news update. I've never done a video like this before, so I just kind of wanted to test the waters. We are literally like eight subscribers away from 700, so I'm going to be announcing the winners for my current giveaway like really soon. Anyways, again, thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. You all are amazing. As always, this has been Brent's Bricks, and remember, never stop building.